On Urban 4, we found primitive insects, probably not unreasonable, but disgusting and potentially dangerous. They were so backwards, though, we could ignore the threat for now. Scientist Sheldon. Hi there, and welcome back, my friend, to Snail Wars, where we try to make the galaxy safe and great again for Nautilon's coming, and we're expanding, and we will be expanding even more. Look at this. Uh, adaptability is soon closing in on environmental diversification or dietary enrichment. Well, probably that. So we have access to all of these planets with a 50% habitability, which is already quite good and uh, could improve our situation further, our power, our population. But there is a problem we have to defeat a lack of energy consuming too much and we'll see if we can fix this somehow i mean i think we've built something here but something still is missing oh there's a clerk here that would be missing for the trade value and uh, look around here we've got some more food here which is good and then we've got a generator district here but the problem with the generator district and you can see there's a production here and that production is due to the odd factory we have but the odd factory now yeah, that has one worker job so if we get another one working here then we can finally go and have some technicians and these technicians will help greatly so that's our solution. Wait, that's a great solution, right? And the other solution is um, expand. We're going to get to this archaeological site. We're also interested what is beyond this. Already sent the naughty Armstrong to investigate. Also, Wokon is, of course, very interesting. Let's continue our quest. Oh yes, here we are building another star base. See how that works out. System survey complete. I'll give him something nice to do. He has investigated the Wokons. And this seems to be like a path. Uh, that expands again. But we can have him move in a circle here. Which would be probably quite enlightening so let's do that here we go uh, yep but up but up but up but up hey okay that's too much eh <laughs> Too many things. Um, yeah, let's just. The only thing is that we need. We really start to need more energy credits. And we found out about the aliens. A cloud reads the odd report collated from multiple resources like a cloud of luminous star stuff billowing in the dark. The report goes on to refer to the phenomenon somewhat poetically as a void cloud. It is evident to the priesthoods of the Seekers of Nautilon that these clouds are heralds, animated by some higher will of Nautilon. Exactly who or what this will belongs? The subject of heated debate. Not really, it's Nautilon, and it's likely to remain so for the foreseeable future. Until such time as the void cloud's true nature can be ascertained, it would perhaps be prudent to treat the immense power evident in its rolling motion with some caution. Conduit for the divine or not, it must be studied. Situation log updated. Indeed must be studied. How can it be studied? Let's study it. It's probably dangerous, but maybe Nautilon has sent us help. Maybe these strange... Oh, we have an atmospheric ecosystem. They've discovered the thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Hazra 1. Massive floating creatures having evolved 
body is filled with lighter than air gases. Follow the wind currents and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Oh, look at that. Extensive moon system. Minerals from jobs plus 10% and more max mining districts. But on a gas giant. Fascinating. Really fascinating. Wow. See how that works, eh? Now, Sheldon. What are you looking for? Ah, we also need more consumer goods. But that has still some time. There's still some time left. For this. Hmm... Also, it is debatable if we should expand or rather go and build more colony ships. That could be very wise as well. As we may be reaching this goal quite soon. Well, maybe not now. Maybe we can jump to Avo, Avaconia and Kehinus first. We'll see about that in the future. Maybe we can capture Dearth. Is that a good choice? It's kind of low on resources, so I'd rather say no, but... Let's see. What do we find out here? In Hien. System survey complete. Construction complete. Completed the star base here. Let's build a research station. If we're here, we might as well. We might as well. And we will rename that thing because it's so interesting. It has powerful moats. Nautilon's moats. And that one is such a friendly system, all in all, that we'll rename it uh, Friend of the Shell. And we have here, that thing is actually now being administered by the Nautiloid Mining Assembly. It's basically a uh, congregation of priests that are looking out uh, to bring their faithful followers there to uh, do away with minerals, to bring them together. And look, we have something open here on the start of the Spiral Prime. Food would still be good. We could specialize this in food, but we can also fix what we have to fix, which is build a generator district. Here we go. Here, though, we still have jobs open. Got a production of minus two. How did that come? Mm, the old factory worker. But look, we'll have soon we'll have another worker, and then everything everything is gonna be fine. What have we here? Yeah, this can wait for the moment until we can expand. This is a little bit critical. We have another strategic resource discovered in Kondara 4A. During its service of Kondara 4A, the naughty Archimedes discovered deposits of rare crystals and volatile modes. These crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, our favorite weapon, and are also a critical component in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure, treasure them as decorations and adornments. But we don't yet possess the means to extract this resource. We should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. The galaxy is rich, my friends. The galaxy is rich. We need to exploit it a bit. To become rich as well. Found another anomaly. 
odd irregularities in Hyun's energy emission pattern? Let's research. And actually now could be, we could have the time for another colony ship. We'll do that. But we try to fix our energy needs. Construction complete. Very nice. The media system. Getting on with it. Let's move here to Ava Cornea for now. Later on, we'll build something there. Not right now. What will we have to do right now? Population is not really growing here. But here instead. And look, we have an open building slot. Ah, that's got to be good. Let's see if we can have something there that would help us bring the population up or something like that. Mm, not right now. We'll wait until we get a chance there for something that will really help us. Even though, now that we're looking at it, housing and amenities, I mean, it could really speed up our development if we build luxury residences after that for the people here, for some housing and amenities. That might not be a bad idea, just because of the amenities. The other way would be to go for holo theaters. Or to even go for the city district. Let's look at the population. Yeah, our city district might be the way. One clerk job produces a little bit of amenities. Mm. But then we can have here holo theaters. Or rather temples, of course. That would be much better. A temple. Yeah, that should be the first thing we should build, right? I think we need to do something with drastic measures here, because uh, let's favorite this thing. We need a couple of people there. Oh, we have six technicians. Yeah, let's favorite them. Mm. Technicians, technicians, technicians here as well. Not yet, but incoming. Incoming. Then we'll use that all, all the while already. Energy credits will run out. What do we have now? Star patterns. The latest century readings from Hian showed the star pulsating regularly. But when the crew on Naughty Armstrong arrived on site, there was no evidence to support this data. While most of the crew are in agreement that the anomaly was caused by a sensory mole function, Science Officer Ning Gao discards this theory. There must be an explanation. There's a reason for everything. And it's not randomness. Ning Gao claims to have discovered similar pulsating energy emission patterns elsewhere. And now fears that something strange is happening to the galaxy's stars. They've charted the course to the nearest affected star. Let's get to the bottom of this. Here. Very great. And look at that. That is a good system. Yeah, let's move here already. That's going to be a good system. And we're, we're going to build a system thing here. We don't need to hurry up, but we kind of need to hurry up. <laughs> so we've built that. Let's favorite it. Let's 
technicians. We need technicians. We need tons of technicians. Minus four, that's much better. The way we'll draw is open and that of a farmer. Oh, Sheldon has gained a level. That's very nice. <gasps> In Hian, wow. There may be more to the to this desolate world than meets the eye. Let's research. Let's have a mining station here for the energy. Energy first it is now. We should make a dip here into Romanox. I don't know. Biodiversity studies, though. Society research from researchers goes up by 20%. We will understand the nature of our blood better. Studying the different forms of life that appear in our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. And what could be better now than maybe an off-world trading company? Do we need ground defense? Not at the moment. Subterranean colonization? Not at the moment. So it's clear we'll go for off-world trade companies. And then after that, let's have a look. Oh, we've got 29 people now. But we need the people to work in... in the technician states. Yeah, 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 yeah. How can we get more of that? That's the question. I mean, we can change the food policy if need to. But... Hmm. Construction complete. Starbase is ready. Hey, the Taiwan. Where shall we send it? What would be a good idea? Maybe this Tundra world to expand on our power there. This Tundra world. Let's have a look. <laughs> what everything has. We have a rich mountain here. Wow, mining districts galore. And here, we've got a good spot for generator districts, so... Let's colonize this one. Yeah, we want to colonize. It is a little bit iffy, but... There's this big butt. Yeah, I, I, I don't like big butts. We have an anomaly. The surface of this asteroid, CCC4193, is littered with metallic debris. Most of it appears to originate from starships of many different designs. Oh, that must be a message from Nautilon. Maybe a hint for some weapon technology. Oh, that is something we have discovered now and um, could expand directly into Romanox and grab the energy credits there as well. Would make a good idea. And here as well. Yeah, we need these energy credits. Hurry up. We need to be a lot more energetic. Primordial soup nestled in sheltered pockets across high and four surfaces. A rich sludge of simple organic compound. Our researchers believe could be a hotbed for a biogenesis, the spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter. 
iron four has an unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world which could make it hospitable for simple life forms although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life it would be best to set our expectations low as it may still be millions of years before life evolves naturally on iron four if at all fascinating still Huh. Yeah, that, that hurts to see that, right? But this is what matters at the moment. Junkyard. The asteroid was evidently used as a junkyard by someone of some point in the distant past. Woo! All manner of discarded machinery and metallic refuse has been deposited inside the asteroid's weak gravity well, being slowly pulled into the jumble of debris that now covers the surface. There's nothing of particular value to be found here, but a lot of the metal could be salvaged by a mining station. Wow, we have crazy minerals we have a new in technology. our section, and we have mastered Robotic workers. These robotic work units are perfect for menial labor tasks. They're hardworking and capable of following simple vocal instructions, but should not be expected to climb stairs. And what next? Uh, hmm. We don't need something special here right now, so we'll go for nanomechanics. Engineering research from researchers plus 20%. Hmm. We could build something else there, get housing, but we miss amenities. <sighs> now, it would be easy with a temple, right? Hmm. Would be good with another generator district, too. Yeah, it needs upkeep, but it is maybe needed. Maybe it is needed. Needed for expansion. What do we have here? Ooh. Soon we have another technician here, and that will be good. So. We're using all methods possible to get our energy situation under control. Will it be enough? Will we be able to get to the archaeological sites in time before someone else does? Anyone else? And will we finally meet aliens? Find out in the next episode of Snail Wars. A great time until then and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. Nautilon be with you.